Hello friends. In this video, I will be showing you practically how we can use uh, object add functions. The object add functions like add select, add where, add prompt, add execute, and add variable. So these are the different different functions which I have already covered theoretically in another video. The link for that video is available in this video description. So let's say uh, what all these functions are uh, being used means how we can use it. So first is uh, add select. So add select is basically used to reference uh, other objects value. Like suppose uh, this maker is having like this uh, in the select select uh, clause. So and if there is uh, any any other objects using the same name uh, same objects, uh, then we can use this. Like suppose if you have a client name. So this client name is having some calculation uh, calculated column. You can say like last name and first name. So if you don't want to write this code again um, in a different object, so what we can do, we can use directly reference um, this client name in other objects. Suppose like let's create an object. So um, dimension objects, I'm just creating a client. Uh, let's see, means I just need a client detail. So what I can do, I can go to SQL select and in select function, what I can do? Um, from here, I can uh, select add select function or else uh, if you click on this client name directly, double click here, you'll get like this function, add select and then folder name and client name. So if you just validate this, will correct. So uh, this way, what it will do? This will, uh, we, you don't need to write the code whatever written uh, here means. The same values which are here, like suppose this is the values which are getting here. And um, means in this also means if you want to use the same logic or something, means then you can get this detail. So this is the use of this add select, which is used to reference other objects uh, values. Okay, coming to uh, the second uh, object at functions which is at where so at where will reference the where condition of other objects suppose we have uh, this maker uh, in this maker there is a maker id which is not null so this is a where condition uh, it's being used there may be some other condition which we wanted to use so suppose this where condition i wanted to use in other object so how we can do it i can i'll just create a uh, dimension object uh, let's see means it's makers um, details uh, okay and SQL assistant what I can do means uh, in um, let's see means I just added the maker ID or something in a select statement and but in where condition what I what I'll do be I, I can use this where condition so in this where condition what I'll do I will use this uh, maker uh, condition so whatever the uh, where condition is there, that it will refer. Okay. So this is an a use of this. Um, so whatever the condition which is applicable to this, uh, so that will be applicable to here as well. So this is an use of this maker uh, at at where uh, object at functions. So this will this will just reuse the codes and we don't need to rewrite the code so that's the use of this at select and at where so coming to other uh, function which is at execute uh, which is a like a, a good function actually means where we can uh, reuse um, the say, sqls which are written in a data foundation suppose we have this data foundation so what we will do we, we will create an, uh, a, a list of values based on uh, some of the SQL. So I have one of the SQL which is uh, getting the number of transactions for the sales. So what this will, uh, this LOV will do, it will get the count of the cell, uh, sales where it, uh, the sale is greater than one. So when we preview it, it will have some values which is number of transactions, whatever it has happened. Okay, so suppose uh, this is the list of values we can create and is uh, if you want to reference this list of values in another objects in business layer, then we can do it. So, so let's go to this um, uh, like, uh, so a list of values, let's give this some name, return uh, customer. So just to understand means uh, this is a return customers, uh, uh, in the data foundation is LOV which I created. 
so here means i can use a directly a filter means let's create an a filter so in this filter what will give uh, it will have some wear conditions right so what are the this is a predefined filter at universe level so where we'll have this uh, some of the wear conditions which we can directly specify here so here what we will do will be adding some uh, wear conditions which is getting the client and client id uh, which is in select cell client id and uh, here we will use at execute functions which will reference that list of values return customers so if you say I mean, this is an example uh, at execute what it will do it will get that that number of transactions happen for that particular uh, cells um, and then it will uh, pass this uh, to this uh, this uh, cell dot cell id uh, condition so this way it will restrict the data so and then that will be uh, again means it will uh, reuse the functionality so so this filter means uh, we have this uh, return filter we can say or return customers so this is an a function means which we can go to the queries and just can uh, let's uh, you can you can use this uh, return customers here directly so whatever the conditions are there that will give the data there in this uh, so this filters we can uh, directly use in our web intelligence reports or in a query filter panel so there are other functions as well uh, so you, you will see this at variable uh add functions section here so add derived table uh, which will reference uh, to you will see the syntax as well derived table and derived table name it, it will be a referencing to the derived table and then add prompt it will uh, means if there is any prompt created so that we can just refer that prompt there directly which will use the same logic there whatever written in that particular prompt add select i uh, shown you at variable is again means Uh, we can have like uh, there are different different functions like bo user so suppose uh, if you are using bo see at variable it will reference this value uh, there are other other fun uh, functions as well db user so whenever these are the inbuilt uh, functions provided by idt so we can reference the, uh, by using this at variable function okay so these are the different different functions object at functions which are available it is mostly used for the reusability of the code and uh, just to avoid the complexity of the invoices so i hope you have understood this concept if you have any questions then please put it in the comment section uh, if you like my video then please like it and subscribe to my channel so that uh, you will get to know about my next unit video thank you for watching